What it up, y'all? This is Denzel B. Ransano. I want you guys and girls, welcome to my channel. Ladies and gents, this is going to be my first time watching Moon Knight. Season 1, Episode 4, The Tomb. So in the previous episodes of Moon Knight, we're finding out more and more that we're about these Egyptian gods. And what's funny and weird is that Moon Knight and Khonshu has reversed time over 2,000 years to realign the moon so they can see and pinpoint the axis to find Ahmet and stop, um, what's his name, from getting into the tomb and stuff like that. That just set the whole Marvel Universe to a whole new low. Since we went back in time 2,000 years, will that affect the future of the MCQ? I am not so sure, certain, but um, I am about to find out in this episode of the tomb. I think they're going to find the tomb of Ahmet and um, try to prevent stopping it, but maybe chaos or something might happen. I don't know. But in the meantime, less talking and more reactions because I'm really excited to see the show. And also, um, like, subscribe, and share if it's your first time on my channel. Welcome and appreciate all the love. And uh, let's get it. Action! What are those? Those are different gods. Yeah, after that event, what happened to his body since Kanshu surrendered himself? No, he's awake. What? <laughs> he's like, what did I just missed? What happened? <laughs> you know, speaking of Egypt, I wonder in the future will they introduce um, X Men's Apocalypse in Sabanur? Like this right here is giving me straight up Indiana Jones slash Uncharted vibes. I'm here, you're not alone. I know I'm not alone. I know I'm bloody not alone. I've got Layla. She's got my back. Oh, you, you're in love? Ooh. Are you in love with my wife? <laughs> yeah, mate, I really you do. You lay one finger but on we've her. got it from here. I swear to you, Stephen, I swear I'm I need will, like I, a recipe I'll, for a protein shake or I'll something. Follow. I'll call you. <laughs> You know, it's so weird because you're in the same body with your loved one, but just a different personnel. It's it's weird, but hilarious. <laughs> Mark's trying to protect you yes. from Kanshu. See? <laughs> That's why he's been pushing you away. Oh. I told you they had, feel like they had a thing for each other. Layla and, and uh, Steve. And Mark is going to have an inner body beat up moment <laughs> that's right it's always the quirky slash nerdy guys we get the chicks all right <laughs> it's, i knew it i knew it <laughs> oh wow look at you oh yeah <laughs> yo she's feeling herself too like oh wow look at you <laughs> If I hope they don't come alive, this is giving me the mummy vibes too. Oh my god! Ugh. And those are the organ jars. Yeah, some ain't right. Some see that? Some ain't right. What if we just get out the pyramid and just call it a day? Like <laughs> more gunshots. What is that? Is that a mummy? Oh my god. Oh, this is giving me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. Marvel is going to the very horror terrifying route. Loving it. He's drinking from it. I told you, this is like mummy, the mummy vibes, y'all. <laughs> Oh, man. And that clicker reminds me of The Last of Us. If y'all played The Last of Us game, ugh, the clickers. <laughs> This is terrifying! Oh my god, he's coming after him. Summon Mark! Oh, see, now that shot right there reminds me of Indiana Jones. Like he had to walk over the faith thing in The Last Crusade. Ooh. Uncharted! Uncharted! Better not be nothing creepy on the other side. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, ah. <laughs> so Sanitize that joint. Like, ugh, nah, man. Oh! Ah! 
Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Oh my god, he trying to stab you with his bone. Ah! He didn't see that coming. Oh my god, this is great. Oh! There, there, there you go. He's such a creep. <laughs> oh. You kissed her. <laughs> yep. Let's talk. Then we gonna have that talk. <laughs> He's trying to say that Mark is the one that killed her dad during that uh, mercenary Mark. thing. Mark. Oh, he found it. So wait, he said Alexander just swallowed it or shoved it in his throat? Like, Can he hear? Uh-oh, big revelation. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, Mark! But you were there. He was there, but he didn't probably kill him, though. No. But you brought a killer right to him, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's hard to digest. Oh, God. Them little clicking things reminds me so much of The Last of Us. Get the heck out of there. Going for the mummy vibes, man. I feel the mummy vibes like Brendan Fraser and the mummy he took the sword and saved Evie from Emo Tab and his mummies. Oh, it's not him. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh my god, he acts for that. Ooh, ooh. Two slugs. Oh my god. So what does that mean if he gets shot? Will he be resurrected somehow? Yeah, he might have to go to a um, resurrection process or something like that. That's how deep the water is? Or is it symbolic of how his soul is being lost and trapped? Uh, that looks like a big light. Look like the afterlife. Ooh. With the bars on the side, okay. What is this? That's an interesting transition, by the way. We've got B22, uh. everyone. B22. Okay, we're in a psychiatric crazy house. That's the lady. How are you doing today, Donna? That's the uh the boss lady. What the heck? The the little ice cream cake, the truck that he was driving in the first uh. episode. Wait a minute, is everyone from all these past three episodes in a crazy house? Conchu, a drawing of Conchu? That's the old lady? What is going on? Everything is white symbolized in Moon Knight. Is this an illusion or what is this? Okay, hold up. Hold up. Is this his own mindset? Or is he playing a trick on his brain? You're too cute to be crazy! So ever since Steven got shot, a Moon Knight action figure. This has got to be his all in his mind mental state, because there's no way this whole time he was in a mental hospital, and he's the doctor, the bad guy. There's the cane. It's got to be an illusion, man. Like he he has him in a psychiatric cage, and he has to break out of them. They with them sandals that he's wearing. Where Doctor Weir cook out sandals there. Okay, so that's Mark. Yes, yeah, see, it has to be a mental state. That that that's not real. Tomb. He has a mental state. There goes Steven. Aw, you're mentally in brothers now. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Cause, Cause don't he has three personalities? So who's in that? This is like Professor X, mutant telepathy in your brain. 
What the heck? <laughs> what? What? That was great. But weird. What is happening? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, just finished watching season one, episode four, first time watching Moon Knight. And I gotta say that episode was very, very, very weird. Very weird indeed. Um, so the two, what I love about this episode that Marvel's going to the horror territories as they're promising in the near future and so forth and stuff like that. It's really great to see that and seeing a creepy little mummy dude uh, 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 terrorizing them and stuff like that. Um, and then we get to see Revelation and, and hear Revelation that, um, what is it, Stephen, is it Stephen and Mark? Mark, there we go, I get too mixed up sometimes. Mark didn't kill Layla's dad. It was one of his friends that got greedy and all that stuff. So I don't know if, if that was a made up story just to bypass her so you won't, she won't get very emotional and try to kill him a certain way, I don't know. But we got that Revelations. And another deal, of course, I had a feeling that Layla and uh, Steven were going to fall in love and stuff like that. You know, it's kind of weird, you know. It's like my own body, but just a different personality that you fall in love with. That's psychologically, mentally. That's that's it's weird, but interesting. Um, as I say, hey, what's up? My name is Denzel, and um, I don't like you. Hey, my name is Denzel B. Ren. And I gotta say that you're sexy. It's kind of weird, you know, stuff like that. But that's, I find it to be hilarious, stuff like that. And... <laughs> What's interesting is in the beginning of the show, we get to see Khonshu, um body with the other Egyptian gods and that little statue thing. So what was that about? Um, let's get to the point at the end. So when, what's his name? Um, Mark gets shot, right? And then when he gets shot, it like he's going to an afterlife thing and then it went to the four by three um, aspect ratio of old school TV show. I'm like, wait a minute, are we time traveling? I'm like, what in the world is going on here? And then we see him, well, them watching it in a mentally unstable hospital. So after he got shot, is this an illusion of the bad? I keep calling the bad guy's name. I keep calling him bad guy. I can't think of his name. Ethan Hawke's character. But the bad guy, I think he has him in a mental state, illusion magic thing to make him go crazy, crazy. Or could it be actually real that, uh, well, that can't actually be real because I haven't seen that dog on hippopotamus with the Egyptian thing looking very goofy. And I was screaming, be paranoid as well, too, stuff like that. And then seeing two of my mental state, we see Steven, we see Mark, but we do not still get the chance to see the third personality of the um, two characters, of the three characters from Moon Knight and stuff like that. So this is weird, interesting, horrifying and mentally unstable episode, but I really enjoyed this episode. The show is very great and exciting, and uh, I don't know where we're gonna go for next. We've got two more episodes for this show and everything, so um, overall, very great, very interesting. Um, yeah, I would rate this episode a nine. 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. It's, it's, it's very intriguing, very weird, but I'm really excited to see what next week's episode is going to bring us here. Yeah, but I'm loving this show. It's Marvel. It's marvelous. No pun intended. But, well, ladies and gents, that was my reaction for Marvel's Moon Knight. Um, what did you guys think about this episode? And what are your thoughts on what's going to happen next? Comment below and let me know also if you had enjoyed my reaction to this episode and video. Click that like button, subscribe, and share. More videos posted each and every other week. So with that being said, this is this LB Red. Sign out with a bang. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo!